Good afternoon, folks. I um, I need your help. I need to release something. I am feeling so much hatred in my heart right now. Um, and uh, as much as I uh, and, and here's the thing. Um, yeah, I'm supposed to be able to just pray and ask ask Jesus to soften my heart and take this away, and that's not working for me. It's not working. So he's telling me. Use the tools that you've learned along the way that, that he made sure somebody was able to teach on this good earth. And so I'm going to use that tool. And so I'll just give a quick outline of the scenario. Um, you know how we send, our, we send the people close to us who have drunk the Kool-Aid and we keep on every so often sending them... Uh, absolutely um, rock hard evidence, uh, testimonials, whistleblowers, um, <laughs> data even from the CDC itself, um, and uh, they won't even look at it, right? And uh, so I, they, they, they just won't. And um, so my uh, older sister, um, who isn't only just doubling down, she's now tripling down, Having taken her third boost, her you know her booster and the whole bit, um, uh, you know sends me a nasty thing saying I just keep deleting these, don't keep sending them to me. She won't even read them, and um, and sends me a meme, which is so funny because I'm sure the meme was originally meant for for people like her, but it was a meme of George Carlin telling, uh, talking about um, stupid people. So, so her response to me, with all all the evidence, all the research, all the studies, all the uh, uh, congressional hearings, all of the um, lawyer activity, all the legal lawsuits pending, all of this information I send, she has nothing for me. No evidence. No nothing. No no receipts, as Salty would say, Salty Cracker. No proof instead of meme calling me stupid. So, you know, yeah, I shouldn't, I should be beyond being bugged, but um, it's just, uh, it, it, today, you know, everyone's on tender hooks. This is Canada. We've got the truckers uh, culminating in Ottawa tomorrow, and it's all very exciting. And then I go and I hear that in, in the United States, there have been like seven police killings or shootings in the last few days and it's just horrendous it's like everything's reaching a boiling point and then this talk about war with ukraine and today yesterday i was in a lovely mellow mood i went down and soaked up some rays at the beach it was lovely today man i've got war in my heart and jesus ain't taking it away from me so jesus says use the good tools that you've learned from good teachers on this earth. So I'm going to use um, yet a, a different technique that I don't think I've shared with you before from the Sedona Method. And this is authentic because I'm dealing with my own uh, very intense feelings right now. Um, I really hate her. I hate, I hate, I hate right now. Can I, so I stop and notice that I hate, <laughs> I really hate. And I really let that, I let it be there. Can I, can I allow myself to hate my sister as much as I do? Oh yeah. Oh, you bet I can. Fucking hate her. Now we're gonna do, it's a technique called the holistic releasing, which is kind of like a seesaw. You go up and down. So you go between, you, it's a dichotomy, which is supposed to neutralize the feeling. So we go from one feeling to the other, and I'll demonstrate right now. So can I allow myself in this moment, as best I can, can I allow myself to hate my sister as much as I do? I go, yeah. And can I allow myself to love my sister as much as I do? Now, I'm, I'm asking myself that even though as you can tell, I'm feeling absolutely zero love right now. But it's simply a suggestion to my mind. And even though I'm still much more loaded emotionally into the hate aspect, I'm going to keep doing this. I'm going to keep going back and forth. And I may use either exactly the same words or it may spontaneously change up a bit. So just stay with me on this. So again, can I allow myself to hate my sister as much as I do? 
And then, can I allow my sister to love my sister as much as I do? And can I let myself hate my sister as much as I do? Can I allow myself to feel love for my sister? Can I let myself hate my sister? Can I let myself feel feelings of love and acceptance for my sister? Getting there. Can I, again, again, can I allow myself to dislike my sister as much as I do? <sighs> yeah. And can I allow myself to accept my sister for who she is? <sighs> as best I can, just for now. Yeah. And again, can I allow myself to feel as much distaste and revulsion for my sister as I do, yes. And then can I allow myself to simply feel okay about my sister? Can I just let her be who she is? Yeah. And can I allow myself to dislike my sister? Mm -hmm. Can I allow myself to like my sister? <sighs> Can I dislike my sister as much as I do? And can I like my sister as much as I do? And I'll throw in that last question. Just for now, can you can I welcome the sense, any sense that it's personal, that it's about me, or who or what I am, or about her for that matter? Any sense that it's about us and who we are? So interesting. I'm so I have to tell you, um, that was a pretty intense feeling. I would say I was up there like a nine and a half, ten. Um, and right now, I would say I'm at about a two or a three. So I should keep releasing, and I would okay, say all and any hateful feelings that I'm feeling right now, can I simply allow them to be there? Can I welcome wanting to feel differently? Or what can I welcome not wanting to feel differently? Can I allow myself to hold on to my feelings? Because I certainly seem seem to be holding on to them a little bit. You see how you can mix and match these techniques and change it up and just go with the flow? So I got rid of, I diffused most of it in that teeter-totter technique, the like, dislike, hate, love, dichotomy. And now I'm just sort of cleaning up with general releasing questions, like simply allowing whatever residual feelings are there to be there. Hmm. Yeah. Wow. <sighs> wow. This is big. You'll probably notice that I, there's more silence inside of me than when I first came on. I'm going to leave it there for now because I, I think I want to just be private and process some of this <laughs> privately. But I have to say, I feel like it's much more uh, um, possible to be a good Christian now that I've done something about my, my uh, very human feelings using a very brilliant, in my mind, technique that I'm sure 
our Lord and Savior approves of. Thanks for listening. Bye for now.